enough this morning I was walking uh, to go get my mail I was walking to get get my mail and a couple of things I had to go do and um, I had this awesome program come into my mind which I'm gonna tell you about at the end because I have a message before I want to tell you about this program because they amazingly enough they go together amazingly I know <gasps> shocker shocker they do tend to go together uh, but I got this just inspired action and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. But before I do that, I wanted to talk a little bit about actually an article I wrote yesterday. So yesterday, late afternoon, I, I got to my article and I wrote about an experience I had had a couple days ago. I did a body mapping kind of art, which is really just like an art, a really big art therapy project. Um, with a fellow coach, we kind of dove into some things because I was wanting to look at certain areas of my life. And so I, I dove into this project and this is what the article is about. So if you haven't read it, so go and kind of read this article. Um, it's on my page. After you watch the live stream, don't jump off the live stream to read the article. But um, hold on. I see that there's a bunch of people on, but I can't see any of you. Uh, my phone is acting up. But anyway, so I, I did this massive project and in the middle of the project, I'm like pulling pictures out and I'm, I'm like gluing them down and I'm like, I'm drawing and I'm coloring and I'm painting and I'm awful at all of that. I am. I'm not an arty art person in that way. I'm very creative in other ways. If you want me to choreograph a dance for you, if you want me to, you know, kind of dream up like some website design stuff like I'm pretty good at that too but I'm not like an arty artsy person as far as like drawing and art but anyway I do this did this project and funnily enough I had picked out some pictures and I put them down and by the end of my project I couldn't look at them I couldn't look at them I was really struggling to look at them and I actually turned to this fellow coach friend and I was like I can't even look at these three pictures these three pictures are tuning into a desire I didn't even realize I had. I didn't even realize it was within me because I had pushed it down and I had been like, no, I'm not gonna get that. I don't deserve that. I don't, I'm not worthy of that. Like all this like crack programming that actually I picked up when I was a child. Um, and so it's my responsibility to let go of it. Anyway, so that was basically the article. It was this sharing this, you know, it was main, mainly me just sharing with you. However, however, and this is where I think like some people miss the point of the article because I don't share just to share guys. I don't throw my personal shit out there just to be like, see, I have shit. Like, no, that's not fun for me. That's not, that's not, that's not educational. That's not helping anybody. My reason for, sh for sharing it was to talk about desire because we all, all have desire. And we all, at times, we'll run from our desires. And I got a couple messages like, it's okay, Addison, you can lean into your desires. And I got a couple messages were like, like, you, you know, you just need to learn to do, and I was like, okay, that's, you're missing my point, people. You're missing the whole point. Because I know I need to lean into that desire. Uh, but my, my point of the whole article was to talk about desire and how most of us do not lean fully into our desires and how at a certain point we can truly learn to push desires down based upon what other people think, what we have picked up, like our belief system. So it may have started out as something external to us, but then we have picked it up. So I'm actually a, a particular client is popping into my brain as I'm talking right now about this client thinks that, um, and it, it's a past client, 
really believed that she could not have that deep, connected, orgasmic, truly multi-orgasmic, energetic, orgasmic experience in the bedroom. She had had kind of bought into this belief that I can't have it. It's not possible for me based upon her past lovers, based upon her own, just her experiences, her blocks, all of this stuff, the things that she learned when she was a kiddo, all of this, this, these messages that were external to her and then eventually became really core messages that she had picked up. And she desired it. She desired it so bad. However, she was not willing at the time when we first started working together, she was not willing to lean into it because she didn't think she could have it. So she she didn't even realize it was there. So I think my, and then by, you know, after some work, we really, it, she had this like beautiful like transformation and expansion into her sex. Just really be able to lean in there. And I still get messages from this particular beautiful woman uh, telling me how, how, you know, I changed her life, but also just how beautiful her sexing really is right now. And how by believing that she could have the desires, by leaning into the fear of having your desires, that she was able to like really truly like change her entire life around her relationships change for the better, her self-esteem change for the better, all of this this stuff really changed for the better in her life. But it was all wrapped up in this fear of, first of all, believing that she couldn't have it. And then, on top of that, having this fear of having it. And I got a message that was like, fear of having your desires? Like, really, that's not a thing. And it's actually more a thing than being, it, it is a huge thing. We are all scared of truly leaning into our desires at some point. We have to really breathe into certain desires. Those desires that are at our core, they're just like deeper. They're deeper seated. I'm not talking about like, I desire ice cream or I desire, you know, a vacation. I'm not, I'm not talking about these like more surface level desires, guys. That's, you know, I, I can think of, I do this exercise with clients where I will like, we play this, um, like it's almost like a spotlight game of like, tell me your desire, tell me your desire, like, and I kind of, I, we spend like two or three minutes really like, kind of like going into our desires, and I mean like hardcore, and I'm not going to give the entire exercise away because that would give the exercise away, and I like the exercise, and otherwise people working with me won't be surprised when I pull it out on them and it is definitely one that has you have to be kind of surprised about but I, I've like asked that question and there are people either will go to like those deep 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 desires or they stay very surface levelly with their desires and so like I can think of like clients I've done with done this with and oftentimes they go to sex they're like I want a threesome I want you know I want you know hours of you know like just time to watch a football game and they go like somewhat surfacey uh, but what I'm talking about is those deeper desires those soul desires those desires that if you get to the end of your life and you don't you have not accomplished that you're truly not going to be happy with yourself you are not going to be satisfied with your life. You're going to look back at your life with regret. These are the desires I'm talking about. The ones that are true soul pullers. Those ones where you feel like almost like you have this, this chain or cord like pulling you towards something. That's what we're talking about here. And I think it's easy to look at and go like, I don't have those desires. Or I don't have those desires. Or I fully accept my desires. Uh, but the problem is if you truly accepted it, if you truly were on board with your desires, and I mean like truly fully on board with your desires, like you were not fearing them, you were not resistant to them, you were fucking totally open and like, come on, yeah, like I want my desires. Like, yes, I want them. Guess what? They would be there already.
they would be there already. They would be there in your life. They would have manifested because if you had no resistance, if you had no fear, if nothing was holding you back, they would already be there. So it is looking at what is holding you back. And I think so many times, yes, it can be And many times my clients will tell me like, no, it's just like, I'm scared because it feels too much. Can I hold that? If I lean in there and I have all of this, then what will I do if I lose it? What will I do if I fail at it? What if, what if it all falls apart? It's better to just not know that feeling, not know that sensation, not have that, not open up to it than to have it and lose it, which I think we all know steals us from such beauty. It really does just steals us from such beauty. And we, in our society, and I see it all the time, we, we shame our own desire. We go, okay, it's not okay for me to want that. It's not okay for me to desire that. It's not okay for me to just even desire, like, to experiment over there or to or to play with that for a little while, or to, you know, whatever your desire is. But there's such shaming of desire when desire is our is that center point of power and driving forward in our lives. Uh, and so I really am going to challenge everyone today, today, don't wait. I will, like, it's, it's like lunchtime for most of you if you're in my time zone. If it's not lunchtime for you, then find a time. And I want you, I'm telling you, to go and write for 10 minutes your desires. Like, really get deep there in there, guys, and be like, what do I truly desire? You don't have to share it with everybody. Just be, like... You can have these desires, and that doesn't mean you necessarily have to share it with everybody, but it is at least sharing it with self, because otherwise you do a, like I said, you do a body mapping project, or you get to the end of your life, or somebody asks you something and you go, I didn't realize I wanted that. Like, I didn't realize that was a thing. I didn't realize how deeply I desired that. I didn't desire, know how much that was missing. That was like a key point that felt like it was missing in my life. Ah, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to. You want to be in tune with your, your desire, in tune with what's going on. And sometimes they can hide, so you have to keep doing this work. I do this work every single day, guys. Every day I'm doing my mindset work, I'm doing my desire work, I'm tuning into my body, I'm meditating, I'm doing all the things, all the things. But the fact is, oftentimes, we're ready to see them 
doing our mindset work. So I'm going to suggest you all spend like 10, 15 minutes today and go deep into like, what do I want for my life? What do I want? What do I desire? What do I desire? And really just keep, just write. Just write. Because the fact is, it's just for you. So you can write it out and then you can go back and go, actually, I don't really want that. Like, that's not a desire. That's not something that is a core desire. That is something that maybe somebody else told me I desire. Maybe, maybe I feel like society thinks I should desire this. But getting real with what your actual true desires are. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. Like, like you can like throw some stuff out. You can like write it down and be like, yeah, I, like that came out, but it's not, it actually truly isn't resonating. It was something maybe my ego said, uh, or my good girl or good boy kind of came up with. And, but just like leaning into that, really breathing into that and then taking some time and meditating and putting your hand on your heart and putting your hand on your genitals or your, your lower abdomen and just like tuning into that feeling of desire. What does that feel like in your body? And breathing into it, really truly just like, and I mean like literally like breathing into it, taking those good deep, Buddha belly breath and breathing into that and feeling that sensation what would it feel like to have it and then begin to realize and recognize and do a little bit of work on what where you because you are the only person stopping you from your desires where you are holding yourself back so so yeah as promised because I feel kind of complete with all that as promised I have an amazing program for you guys. It is not done yet. Like I said, I came up with it this morning while taking like a two minute walk to go get my mail <laughs> and do a couple things that I had to do at uh, where, I, where I live. But it is Core Desires. Yeah, it's a program, Core Desires. It is a four week, four weeks of Deep, diving deep into life's core desires, the things we all desire, the things that move us forward, give us power, give us charge, and which we will not, and I say we will not feel complete and feel full without. Really tuning into how to bring those into your life, how to expand them, how to tap into them, how to allow them, how to drop resistance against them. It's four weeks because there are four key points that we're going to go through. We're going to talk about love because without love, you got nothing. Without love, you got nothing. And that includes self-love. Then, then we're going to talk about creativity because if you're not tuning into that creative spirit, that creative drive, that, that core piece of you that allows you to have that fluid motion in your life and allows you to feel like you're in a creation, whether that's creation of like children, yep, because that's creation energy, whether that's creation of a project, a business, whatever that might be, really tuning into that creation energy and then sex. Because yes, yeah, sex can lean into creation. How we we need, we desire, we crave really good sexing, really good sexing that is at a deeper soul level, not this like woo woo. I had a thirty second orgasm or climax, like woo -woo, like not that, not that, but the deeper, deeper level of that, and really, really finding how to uncover that and expand it out. If you already do. So we're gonna go into into those those elements. I'm missing one. Oh, legacy, legacy. Because what's the point of living if we're not leaving something? If we're not leaving our mark on the world? And so I truly believe we all want to leave our mark. We all want to leave our mark. So in this program, you're gonna get two trainings a week. So that is eight trainings, eight trainings to integrate this stuff, expand this stuff. We're gonna blow this shit up. We're gonna blow it up. And then we're gonna put it back together. We're gonna put it back together in, in a beautiful life that is yours, in your way. I'm not gonna tell you exactly, you know, what your life needs to look like, what your desires have to look like, because that's yours. But I am gonna help you open all of these areas up. And then there's gonna be
be a chance for one-on-one -on -one coaching on this in order to really just integrate it more for you. This is going to be a Facebook training, but then we are going to have the opportunity to do one-on-ones with me in order to just really secure this and lock this shit in and help you open up. And so that is coming your way. It is not written up. Um, again, it just was, it's one of my fly, kind of fly by the seat of your pants kind of moments. And so you can PM me for details on that. Also, side note, my self-love program is starting in a few days. So if you're a woman and you're needing to open up to your self-love, you're really needing to, to unlock those keys in order to unlock your life ladies, the rest of your life is not going to work. It's not going to feel good. It's not going to be expansive. That is coming up. So if you want to get on, on the launch for that, if you want to get in the group for us starting and not do that in the replay, then you might want to get signed up. And that is a three-day training happening next week, the end of next week. And so uh, you can find that at askthelot.net. And again, if you want to do my four desires, workshop that is going to be four intensive weeks of training, journaling, shares, then you can reach out to me um, through private messenger and I will get you all the information for that weekend chat. So, all right guys, um, I have some other announcements, but I'm going to do a separate video for those because those are all for my DFW peeps. Uh, so I will wait to share all of that in a private video later on today. Um, other than that, stop faking it and go start living it, guys. Go start living it. Make the changes that you need to, to make. Love yourselves and just go have a fucking amazing day. All right. I love you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode.